giant Kodo moment. Export a little bit of Thweed, and in the Japanese version, it's actually called Thweek with a K at the end instead of a D. But we visit the grave, the graveyard. It's um, and then we talk to these weird people. I guess they look like enemies, obviously. But they look into our soul and stuff. And we came back. We saw a um, a girl in a bikini in front of the hotel. We decided to chase her, and she actually led us led us to a room where we got amp where Ness and Paula got ambushed and knocked out. So they locked in this room. And then at the very end of the last part, Paula was calling out to Jeff, who was a friend we've never met that rhymed, and we just need his help. So let's just press A, okay? So yeah. Winter is a small country on the north to the north. Snow Wood Boarding House. I am Paula, I am, and I am with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you, through, though far away, can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Jeff, you are a friend. You are a friend who we've never met, but you are our only. You are our only one and only hope. Come on, Jeff, you can do it. Ness and Paula need your help. Oh yeah, he woke up. He sleeps in his coat and shoes. Nice. We can actually control him now, actually. So for this part of the game, we actually control. As, you actually play as Jeff, but we're trying to rescue Paula and Ness, of course. Let's talk to the- this is supposedly, um, Jeff's best friend. Ah, oh, Jeff, I dreamt that you and I were taking a walk. What's wrong? Don't you- Okay, I guess I- yeah, I have to go towards the door, actually. Uh, his friend is actually gay. The, uh, creator of this game, of Earthbound, actually confirmed that in, like, an interview. So he- his friend is gay. So that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, man, what are you good? I think it, I read Steer's dialogue, but like I think it says, What are you doing up at this time of night or in the middle of the night? Where are you going? Something like that. Uh, you know the dorm rules, right? If you got caught, you're punished big time. What? What's wrong, Jeff? Alright. There must be some reason that I don't understand. I'm a, I won't stop you, but it's dangerous to leave without taking anything along. Hey, I think there's some stuff in the locker room that you should get. I, I'll help you get out of here. Oh, he's such a good friend. Um, I have like two friends, maybe actually three friends named Sam, and um, not Sam the CBSC, but other Sam. Uh, yeah, he's he's a good friend too. I should say, he's a good friend. So he would help me out in big troubles too. He's a good guy. Let's talk to this four people. I heard that the creature called Tessie lives in the in the southern lake. Uh, I don't believe it. I think someone made a model and put it, placed it in the lake. Okay, what do you have to say? I'm sleepy. I wash my I'll wash my face, brush my teeth, and do my do my business, and go to bed. Cool. It's the middle of the night anyway. I hear I heard a more interesting story that the rumor about than than the rumor about Tessie. It's about the cave boys at Stonehenge. Not Stone e not Stonehenge, but Stonehenge. Okay, many claim to have actually seen them. Cool. Um, I wonder if the rumor is true that the center of the st st stone hinge has an entrance leading someplace. Someday we should check it out. Yeah. I hope so. That'd be pretty cool. Let's go in this room. Um, apparently it's someone's birthday, which I think it will... I think it'll be someone's... Well, if we talk to someone, we can tell. Um, yeah. If you're going outside, stop by and say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks out for the younger students. Maxwell is still working hard in the labs downstairs. Anyway, these days the, there are many dangerous animals wandering around outside. Yeah. I'm so sleepy. Tony's birthday party is tomorrow. I heard decorating each- I hand decorated each cookie to pass out at the party tomorrow. You know what you can do? You can take all these presents and all of these are cookies. Yeah, Tony only gets um, cookies for his, uh, for his birthday basically. That's mostly breakfast. So yeah, so in Jeff's inventory he has a bottle rocket, he has a big bottle rocket, ruler, uh, broken spray can, protector, and protractor I mean, and a uh, boiled egg. What level is he at? I'm, I'm curious. So he's level 1. So it's like starting out with um, Paula, you know, she was level 1. 
So let's take all these in it. Let's take all these cookies, I guess. Just open the presents. The cookie was inside. Jeff takes it. Yep, let's take all his presents. And they're all cookies, by the way. If I, yeah, I already mentioned that, but just think, just so we're queer. Just so we're queer. Ha! <laughs> I think he would just take his presents. It's kind of funny. It's a funny part of the story, right? Isn't that so funny, man? Isn't that so funny? Jeff, I can't believe you could do something so nasty. Oh, he's, well, he could have stopped me, but, uh, he didn't. <laughs> okay, so let's go downstairs. We can go downstairs now, because we covered everything, really. Okay, let's go in this room first, because it makes sense, actually. Here's Maxwell, who's been working downstairs. Oh, Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a late-night snack? I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Jeff's father, Dr. Ander... And donuts <laughs> were here. Uh, he'd be able to provide a great help, deal of help. Um, I heard uh, he is a he is an astounding person. He was the first um, leader of our ultra science club. I heard he is greater than Einstein or Heisenberg. Uh, rumor has it he is also very strange. If you were, were heading to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent though. Yes, we get it. A bent key. Jeff got the key to the locker. Okay, cool. If you leave, call me and I'll record your adventure. It's... It's like saving the game. Ah ha 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 ha. <laughs> humor, humor, humor. Humor, humor, humor. Danum, danum, danum. Okay, so... Like, if we use the key that we were given by Maxwell, let's use it. The key is meant and doesn't fit into the hockey hole. So you could try all seven lockers, but I'm not going to because I know you just have to go back to Maxwell and say, Hey, this key is bent. It won't work on the lockers. So I'll do just that. Okay. Ha ha ha, the key didn't work, did it? I thought that might be the case. So I invented the machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bent, slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. Of course, yeah. Cool. Check out the bad key machine. If you are Dr. N... Donut son, you should be able to repair some tools and make them useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. Yeah, that's true. Like later on, Jeff's um Jeff's really good. If he has enough IQ, when you go to hotels to heal all your party members, he'll um he'll probably be able to fix one of his uh like a bad key machine or something that's like broken. And it's really cool because the higher his IQ, the better stuff he can actually repair eventually. And actually, we'll have to do that with one of his weapons in the future actually. I said actually too many times in that sentence. Okay, so let's just um, use the bad key on. Oh, yeah, use. Fortunately, there's nothing in the locker. Okay, let's try this one. I'm going to check all seven lockers just to be safe. Unfortunately, there's nothing in this locker. Okay, let's try this one then. Fortunately, there's nothing in this locker. Oh man, we, we, we pretty much struck out because we had three bad lockers already. <laughs> With nothing in them. A home set. Yes, we'll use that actually. Good. And you might have to eat some of these cookies to save to um to conserve space in your in, in Jeff's inventory. So let's use this. Well, I don't know. Yeah, use I meant equipped. Dang it. Okay, let's use. It's, it goes on his other part of his body. As wait, his defense. See, his defense is twelve right now. But with the home set, it's still twelve. I think. Yeah. Well, it's good to have at least. I guess. So I'm gonna have to eat some cookies now, or have Jeff eat some cookies. Okay, cool. Is that maxed out? Even though it's already maxed out, yay! Not the home side. I want the back key machine. Okay, open the door. There was a pop gun inside the locker. Just takes, just got it. Okay, so um, I think the pop gun is his weapon for right now. So yeah, we're gonna have to eat another cookie, I believe, too. But Jeff will have to. Jeff will have to eat another cookie, guys. And gals. Okay, so open the door. Fortunately, there's nothing in this locker. And then there should be something in this locker if my memory serves me correct. Broken air gun, yeah. So we'll repair that later as a, I guess, a better weapon, I guess you could say. Maybe a better weapon. I don't know. For sure. Yeah. So, um, let's go outside the boarding school now. Boarding home. Okay, here's something cool that Tony does. He just lies down. He's like, if you talk to him, okay, now use me as a step and climb over the gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know, know where you're going or why, but I remember we are all, we are best friends forever. Yeah, Tony is a great guy. We, we won't see him for a while, I believe, so. But I'll come back, hopefully, and we'll see him again. Here's a shop. I forgot to read the sign. Let me read the sign. 
Reverse, reverse, go back. <laughs> okay. Um, drugstore, in a quotation marks, it says best friend. Cool. Nice. So it's, um, I see, hello, it's, um, bye, I guess. I have two dollars. But I, oh yeah, Ness and Paul had like $574 or something. But since this is Jeff, we don't have it, their money, so like we can only buy two dollars. We have to sell a cookie, I guess, yeah. But um, also, if you want to grind and like these drop, I think the enemies around here drop a lot of cookies, so you can sell them for three dollars at this drugstore. Um, you can get the T-Rex bat, which is really good. The non-stick frying pan, which is really good too for Paula. The T-Rex bat always goes to Ness if you can get if you can get it. Corner silence is good for Jeff because you know it's flashing right there. And if it's faded out, they can't really use it. But if it's flashing, corner silence. I've heard it's not really good. It's not really worth grinding for it. It's two thousand five hundred dollars too. But get a collection. I'm not sure. Picks. A uh, skip, 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 skip sandwich DX, I think is a better skip sandwich, I guess, and maybe it lasts longer. Lucky sandwich, I don't know what that does. Coffee, I think cup of coffee just restores, um, HP. But, um, we're gonna actually sell a cookie. And, yeah, let's just sell a cookie. Buy, okay, three. Yes, okay. We got five dollars now. Wait, is this the bank right here? Please answer your ATM card. Okay, so you can't even get access, um, Essence bank account, because he has the ATM card with him. And he's, um, trapped with Paula. In that dark room. Let's talk to you. There's a monkey at the entrance. T uh, take the monkey. Um, here's he's really noisy. <laughs> if you buy a pack of bubble gum, you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, you have to call. You will cost you a buck. So, do you want him? Um. Sure, I'll take him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the monkey's my uh, monkey's Jeff's now. Jeff got the pack of bubble gum. Nice. So let's give the bubble gum to the monkey then. Uh, give me some gum. He see what he says. The monkey got a piece of bubble gum from Jeff and blew a bubble. Cool. He's flying, everyone. He's flying. He's falling. <laughs> okay. So yeah, the monkeys are um team member, party member, I guess. The bubble, the bubble monkey joins you.